In the mountains of Afghanistan, the MRAP or any set of wheels would be a luxury. Searching for the enemy on mountain trails happens on foot. Specialist Nathan Bowen takes us on the search for the Taliban, who use obscure mountain trails to transport weapons and supplies. It's a cold morning for the paratroopers of Bravo Company at 10,000 feet. And already there are signs they aren't alone on the mountaintop. A group of people have been spotted moving towards the troops from the direction of a compound in the distance. When they draw even with the soldiers, they are stopped and questioned. They ask what they're doing today. They are nomads heading to warmer territory and say they have not seen anything suspicious in the area. They are sent on their way and searching the compounds along the ridgeline begins. Uh, we're just clearing the compounds first and then uh, we'll go back and do a site exploitation to make sure there's not any caches or anything suspicious like that. The soldiers search inside and out looking for signs of false compartments and freshly dug ground. Sometimes they hide them and if you didn't take the time to like go back and recheck what you checked, you wouldn't ever find it. A thorough search turns up nothing except dust and the squads move on to the next set of compounds. But it's more of the same. Despite the lack of suspected weapons caches, information taken from the sites will be useful. We're still leaving the top of the mountain with a lot of actionable intelligence as far as exactly where the compounds are, how many compounds there are located around it, exactly where they sit, and documented photography of exactly how big it is, what it's made out of. It's a hard day's work for these paratroopers. Nearly all of their movement is uphill or downhill on slippery rock and shaky ground. And it's hard to breathe because the air is so thin. The soldiers return to their patrol base, lungs pounding and muscles aching, to rest after a long day. Specialist Nathan Bowen, Chapadara Valley, Afghanistan.